Hey guys, uh, Jonathan Greenberg here, J Greenberg 1998. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use this new application um, in the category of entertainment on the Apple Store called Flutter. Now Flutter um, basically controls your music by hand motion um, gestures. It controls your apps on your computer. Now this is really meant for Mac, obviously, because it's... You can only get it on the App Store, but you also do know that if you have a PC, iTunes is available for the PC, and I'm sure um, there's a way to download it. Now, I'm. It might be that this app is only for OS X. Now, I ha I downloaded the uh, software update, the 10.8 OS X. Um, so it probably won't work if you have a PC and you're watching this at home. But if you have a MacBook Pro, doesn't matter if you're a 2.4 Intel Core i5. Doesn't mean doesn't matter if um, you know you have the oldest white MacBook Pro. As long as you can reach the App Store, it most likely will update the apps for you. Um. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you this new app called Flutter. I'm sure you guys might have heard of it. Now, I what I have to do right now is I have to go into the Flutter thing. And let me turn it off so that I can go in and show you the gestures. So I'm going to go to my uh, search bar over here, and there's Flutter. I'm going to click on that. Um, it says, I am now controlling iTunes. So that's the first thing that I have that I'm using with Flutter. But let me show you the gesture tutorial for all you newbies trying to use Flutter. So here we go. Um, it says over here, Every superhero has an origin story. This is yours. So that's just a little funky advertisement. Um, over here, this is how you this is how you use Flutter. So right now, Flutter's obviously already downloaded on my computer. Um, so basically, you put your hand up to the FaceTime HD camera. Doesn't matter what kind you have. And to put it up, you put up like your palm, and that will stop and play the music. If you want to change the music that goes to the left on your iTunes library. You switch your hand to the left to your FaceTime camera, and as you can see, you do the opposite direction to go right in your iTunes library. So when you're done with that, you go down to the bottom of the page, and you click I'm ready. Um, so basically, you do not want to, you don't need to move around or whatever. You want to be one to six feet away for this to really affect, for this to work. So you can't be too close to the computer because it won't understand what you're doing. Do the gesture, continue on the bottom. Uh, so I click that, click that, click that. Now this is how you uh, turn off and um, on Flutter. Uh, and that's how you turn the camera off too. So click that. And now I am ready to help out. So here we go. This is what you can use on Flutter. Now I only have Keynote and iTunes. So this is like they have Spotify Radio. I've never heard of M Player X in my life. Um, they have QuickTime, VLC, all that stuff. So I'm going to show you um, iTunes. So let me just click on that. So on the top, it just came up with a notification saying you are controlling iTunes, which I've already said, but here's another one. Now, I'm going to bring my camera back, and here we go. This is me playing, you know, a random song on my iTunes list. I am going to put my palm up to the camera, I'm about one to six feet away, and we will see what happens. Sorry about that, took a little bit of time. So there we go. It's playing It's Time by Imagine Dragons. Night volume. It's a great song. I'd recommend it. You should buy it on iTunes if you have the money. Um. So here's how you stop the song. Um, it's kind of loud. Sorry about that. I'll turn it down. But um, if you don't want this song at all, because I know people who don't like this song, just go like this, and it pauses your music. Um. So. And you also saw the shuffle sign. So if I wanted to shuffle to the other side. Now, I, I don't really know how to do that. It's not really working well. But thanks, guys. That's my tutorial.